Hello friends. Today we're going to put a new leather belt on a treadle sewing machine. Now for this you need the following things. You need the belt of course. It's available online. Uh, eBay sells, has a number of suppliers sell these. It comes in a 72 inch length. You cut it to fit. You need a cutting tool of some sort in order to cut it to fit. Pliers in order to clinch the uh, staple when you're done. Some form of clip to hold the belt in position while you are manipulating it. Uh, I have these spring-loaded clips. You can also use vice grips or clothes pins work very well for this purpose. You're going to need something to drill a hole in the belt to allow the staple through. For this you can use a seam ripper. You can actually use the needle of the machine but it will probably break. You can use a hammer and small finishing nail if that's available. But I prefer the hand drill because it's just a better tool for the job. Also a wooden block in order to back the uh, to stop the nail or the hand drill or what have you. The first thing we do is we take the belt out of its bag. For this you want to leave the end with the staple on it on the top. We feed the end that does not have a staple through the mechanism and we will be wrapping it around the lower wheel. Uh, we want the staple to be right about here and this is where we bring in our clips to prevent the belt from falling through the machine. That's not essential but it's really helpful. Now the belt is going to go through a number of holes underneath the machine, which may not be visible easily. It is important that it goes through them properly or it will not work. We just feed it through this uh, dr drive wheel down here. Now if you have a loop on a spring to help it come off. I know singers have those. You need to loop it through that also. We seem to be... What are we binding on? We seem to be binding on... Oh, I see our problem. We still have part of the old belt jammed in here. I've never had that happen before. Alright, we've got the belt through the machine. At this point you want to rock it back and forth just a little bit to make sure that it is not catching on anything and it is where it's supposed to be. I'm happy with this. So now we make sure that it's through all its pulleys. Now if it is better to cut it too long and recut it then cut it too short and have to go back and try to stretch it, which is hard. Okay, so we're going to cut right there. So we now have the belt the proper length. We now need to get a little slack in it and figure out where the staple wants to go through the leather. 
I'm going to mark that with my Sharpie. Right up there. Now we drill our small hole. This is leather, so it's a very easy thing to drill a hole in. Assuming you can get it to hold fast. going to pull this out and get it on the ground so I can maneuver it better. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that. Now when you put the staple through, you need it to be off the wheels, otherwise you're just going to be fighting it too hard. Remove the clip. And... And it's too loose. But that's how you put the belt on. We are now going to correct my mistake. Oh yes, way too loose. Make another Sharpie mark there. It is difficult to start the drill bit in these often. Well, the machine needs uh, lubrication. It's still very stiff. I paid $40 for this machine at a tractor show and another $32 for the drawers. But that's going to work. That's how you change a treadle sewing machine belt. 
Technique works on all brands. This happens to be a white vibrating shuttle. Thank you.